Hello everyone, just a little video here about um, offset lines. In our software, if we have a closed object, which I'll just create one here, and enter, and I'll fill that. Oh, well, before I fill it, you can see that's a closed object, but it's only an outline. And you can see this tool here, the Outline Design tool, is not available. It's only available for filled objects. So we'll click on Fill. We'll select it first, sorry. And then we'll click on Fill so that we've got a filled object. And then this tool is available. And we can outline any design we like. And in this case, um, you have a choice have how far to offset it that is how far away from the outside of the object you want each offset line and I've got two millimeters and then you can decide how many lines you'd like and I've put down four and I've chosen a single stitch line you can also have triple or satin outlines when you're happy with that just go OK and you'll get your offset lines. Now as you saw before with a line not a solid object you can't do this but what you can do is if you just want a line, you don't want a solid object, you can select your, um, I might just need to go to the objects, just select the object you want to turn back into an outline and go outline. And now you've got all outlines. So that's easy. But what if your line is not a closed object? Um, so I'm going to um, delete all of that and delete it and delete it and I'm going to show you um, a workaround to make the software give you offset lines for open objects and to create my open object I'm going to use the freehand tool because I'll show you something else along the way so I'm just going to create a wiggly line here your line could be any shape hold your left mouse key down and drag it to create the line once you've selected your freehand tool and when you release you'll be hanging on the end here but just press your enter button and it will create the line to where you actually release to okay now it's a bit lumpy this line um, and so I do, I'm just going to smooth that out and I can do that by selecting the object and going to my edit tool coming down to the smooth curves option now it normally defaults to 0.5 I've been playing around a little bit and I like the two millimeter option so for this sort of line so I'm going to go OK and you can see that already smoothed out quite nicely There's probably one little kink here and so just to fine tune you can go to your reshape object and yes there's a couple of little square nodes there so if I want just curves I can delete those square nodes and my curves will be even nicer okay and go enter and then select and I've got a nice smooth line now if I want to offset lines here obviously I can't I haven't got that tool available but what I can do now is copy and paste this line so I'm going to go copy paste and I'm going to change the color to a light color if it was a dark color I'd change this to a um, if my original line was a light color I'd change it to a dark color but because my original line is a dark color I'm going to change it to a light green here okay now it's exactly on top of the other one what I'm going to do now is go and I've only got the green one selected the one, the copy I'm going to go to arrange and if I go down to the bottom we've got this close object tool and I can close with a straight line or a curvy line I'll just choose straight line okay so here's the line here that it has closed the object so I've turned an open object into a closed object now I want it I don't want it running through the middle I want it spread out so I'm going to select, go to the reshape tool and I'm just going to add a node here doesn't matter what sort of node just a square node is fine and I'm going to pull the line out away from the original shape of the line that's that will be fine and go enter and go back to the select tool all right so now I've got a lime green closed object here 
and it's selected and so now what I'm going to do is turn it into a fill just by going down to the fill and hitting fill now I've got a filled object my original line is still here the dark blue one and I'm going to move uh, sorry while I've got this one selected I'm going to create my offset lines so I can go to here my offset outlines and go OK and there and you can see they actually come in the original color that we started with and because I didn't set the color so now I've got my original line and I've got my offset lines in all in the one color now I can select this green area and delete it okay so that's gone but I've got all this extra lines around here I don't want so the easiest way to get rid of them is to take your closed object tool and you can choose another color just to make sure you know what you're doing I'll choose pink and zoom into where your original line started and you're going to go create a closed object over these lines and enter just as a little stamp there which we can then select uh, sorry backspace select it and use our remove overlaps tool okay and delete the pink object which is still selected just hit delete and you can see that we've got a gap here we'll zoom out one to one again and we need to do the same at this end just zoom in create your little closed object stamp enter remove selected and use the remove overlaps tool and then delete it okay go back to one to one now you can um, just select these lines here and delete them one by one or you could go and select multiples and there you have your offset lines wasn't that fun see you next time